Greetings and salutations my guys, this is literally the third time of me recording this video because I just lack the knowledge and wise words for you guys. Um, welcome to another video, to another sketch with me especially. I am really bad at, well not really bad, I'm more of rather lazy of making uh, well thought out videos and editing i hate editing and recording that is so much work so lately i have just been doing sketch with me's and easy um videos for myself because my brain is just, it just goes burr um i asked you guys on instagram as to what the heck i should talk about on this on this week's video of sketch with me karen edition anyways <laughs> The last time I did a sketch with me, it was an ASMR, and God, that was such an easy video to edit, and I wish I could just do that repeatedly, but I, I, I do want to continue giving you my oh-so-wise words at the age of 23. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should talk about. I think I said that already. And one response uh, caught my attention which was how to stop comparing yourself to others especially those around you um i'm assuming that you may have a friend that may be mm, for a lack of a better word better uh more advanced than you in the form of art of course we're not going to be talking about like body image and stuff I, I, this is an art channel this isn't a whatever other channel i am not that type of channel <laughs> it is rather stop how to stop comparing yourself to others art period period um i maybe i have gone through this when I was younger, but not not to an extent, you know. When I, in like, the least amount of time I ever did, because I really, I honestly cannot remember doing this a lot. Um, if I were to ever compare myself to others, I would be like, why am I comparing myself? What What is evoking me to do this? This isn't doing me any justice. Uh, I would I would analyze their work so a lot of artists that I follow they are usually like you know in their mid 30s 40s 50s <laughs> some of them are dead and um, I'd be like why am I drawn by their work what makes me want to improve on my work so that it can look just as good as theirs um, so that's a, that's one way instead of comparing yourself just comparing yourself and bringing yourself down to oh man i'm a piece of shit i will never be as good as them why why don't you think you'll ever be as good as them what is making you come to this conclusion is it their line work is it the way that the way they draw feet like they have a foot fetish like what is it and if so why not improve on it you know uh, because that there's there's this thing where it's like yeah you can be sad about it and i think i've said this before in a video i just can't remember you can be sad about the fact that they are better than you and just stop drawing but why why would you do that you know are you are you drawing just to get the clout are you drawing because you actually want to pursue art or are you drawing no no yeah, no that's it just for the clout or for the for the art are you drawing just to have fun if you're drawing just to have fun then just draw why are you comparing yourself for a little hobby you know um but if you want to be acknowledged more in such that is another thing it all it all comes down to practicing more to analyze instead of comparing analyze their work and see how you can implement that into your own artwork um I, that's, I feel like that's what I have been doing with um, my new mediums. Uh, I, I dabble around different types of mediums with uh, digital art, ink, and uh, gouache. Um, sometimes oil paint, but 
I my brother hasn't given me back my oil paint in a couple months so right now I don't have an oil paint which is very unfortunate but it is what it is um, and obviously since I'm jumping around all these types of mediums I am not devoting myself into one of these mediums therefore it is taking me uh, longer to improve to get a better style within these mediums which is fine I don't mind it um, I'm going at my own pace and you know there are there are some artists that I see and I'm just like wow that that is so amazing like instead of saying like I am a piece of shit that because I cannot create this first of all they might they're like like I said they're older than me <laughs> they've had much more experience within this medium especially if they just draw with that medium it's like okay that makes sense because I draw in different types of mediums I, I use different types of mediums within my artwork so it's understanding um, while they just devote themselves to that one medium let's say gouache so instead of being like I am a piece of shit for not being as good as a level as they are in my age right now I instead go like holy shit the rendering oh my god the hair the streaks the dirt 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 um this is, this is another thing though with like especially with draw with me's i love the process i see within uh people's artwork because i get to there's like a behind the scene type of vibe so you see what they're doing how what techniques they're kind of using even if they're not talking i can i can grasp a slight knowledge of what the fuck they are doing so i can incorporate it into my own work um so yeah it all comes along to how you can implement that into your work so that's 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 step number one you know just because they they may be better than you um doesn't mean you can't you can't be just as good as them it all comes to a matter of a fact of not quitting we in this community in the care bear nation we are not quitters okay guys come on let's 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 do this. We got this, yo. We we got this. Um and segue to the next thing, I guess, is as I re I'm gonna reiterate myself. Um, but it's the age, it's the time that they they take to improve on their artwork, you know? So if you're comparing yourself to a 30-year-old like let's say comic artist and you're 14 years old stop why are you doing this to yourself obviously they've had years and years and years of pain and suffrage and is suffrage the right word i don't know of suffering and they've they've had more more experience as compared to a 14 year old just getting into high school Stop comparing yourself to people that are above your age, like way above your age, like twice your age. That is no way to compare yourself to others. Um, like I said, they, they've had more experience and I see a lot of comments and it's like, oh, I wish I could draw like you, like towards my my artwork and I'm, or it's not even artwork, I literally just sketch and they're like, it's beautiful and I'm just like, okay or they'd be like how did you draw that in five minutes oh my gosh i couldn't even it takes practice y'all <laughs> i am 23 and i still have a long way to go but it takes it takes practice as i always say in almost every single fucking one of my videos practice makes perfect y'all practice makes perfect and There's nothing else for me to say to be honest um especially that comes comes in line if let's say they are at a they are your age let's say they're your friend right you guys are both artists you guys are both in your art class and they may be better than you in your art class your friend right uh, but keep in mind how much time are they devoting a day a week into to art practicing you know uh i feel like 
art doesn't just come naturally, you know? We all start somewhere. Uh, it's like, it's like reading, you know? Not even, hold on. With anything, learning anything, it's, it takes time, it takes, um, stamina. I don't know the right words, to be honest, but we all start at a, at a very beginner stage, and then we just progress from there. So, keep in mind, you know, if you're, if you're drawing once a week while your friend is drawing, like, 10 times, 10 hours, <laughs> that's a lot of time. Okay, let's say, let's say like they're devoting two hours of their day every single day, seven times a week into their, their art, their craft. Then obviously, bro, that's their, what, why experience, practice, that's all you gotta do. Um, uh, and you know, everyone goes at their own pace, bro. Like, it makes sense as to why you would be jealous, but there's nothing to be jealous about. Because if you really want to improve, then just improve. It's not, it's not the greatest mindset to be where you're just comparing yourself to others, you know? Especially if it's just a hobby of yours. Have fun with it. If you're not going to take this into your career, then have fun with it. Why are you comparing yourself to others? And especially within like numbers, let's say like with like Instagram and stuff. I I would sometimes get that way, but then I realize it's like I am I have to trust the process. I have to just do what I'm doing, do what I like to draw. Especially so there's this other thing where like comparing yourself to not I don't know how to explain it <laughs> it's comparing yourself with um like art challenges and stuff so it's like oh my friend did this i gotta do it to gain the clout i need the clout you do not need the clout i will give you that much um i know my friend would be like oh draw yeah you gotta draw let's say jujitsu kaisen all this jazzy jazzy stuff uh anime whatever and it's like for the clout um but it's like, I don't, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I could get clout. <laughs> I don't really need it. Because uh, I don't care for it that much. Um, but it's just a rather of like, if you're, you're forcing yourself to draw something that you don't want to draw, but you have to, you have to, I'm putting quotation marks. You can't see me right now, but I'm doing the little quotation mark thingies with my fingers. Uh, then don't do it, you know, just just do you enjoy drawing because if you're not enjoying art why, why but if you're not enjoying art solely because someone is better than you stop it stop it right now you draw right now as you're watching this video you better be fucking drawing right now because i swear to bejesus I just want you guys to continue your journey as an artist. I believe in all of you and all of you are little special little beans and I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Improve on your work. If someone is better than you, fuck them. But also use them as inspiration, motivation to get better, to be at their level. Um, it just takes time bro and especially let's say if going into um, college and stuff focusing on art or you're not focusing on art and you're focusing like let's say on psychology but you're doing art as a side hustle keep in mind that maybe the artist that you're looking up to your, your friend that you're looking up to they are pursuing art as a career they are devoting their devoting it their personal time and their career time whatever time like 10 12 hours a day maybe of just art so imagine all of that time of practicing and then you're you're doing it like let's say two hours a day or something like that because you gotta you gotta study for the test the next day because you're going into psychology that makes sense right so to be comparing yourself to someone that 
works 12 hours a day as opposed to you working two hours a day there is a difference and you and you need to come to an understanding that that's okay because everyone is going at their own pace do not stress yourself because your friend is doing working 12 hours a day on their artwork um but other than that i i think that's all i gotta say just continue on yourself because that is all that matters especially within your mental health do not burn yourself out please i am not advising you to draw 12 hours a day burning out being burnt out is not a lot of fun and i don't recommend it at all uh but just draw when you feel like it draw or, or draw when when you want i don't care uh, but just just keep in mind of the pace that everyone has everyone this is not a race we are, we're all going at our own speed you know we ain't the flash maybe some people are the flash i am not the flash sometimes i take like a week break and i'm just like i forgot how to draw but this is just the friendly neighborhood spider-man telling you to stop comparing yourself to others and just love your fucking artwork because you are all beautiful and your artwork is beautiful and then just never stop okay just just don't stop i know you guys can do this and that is that is all i got to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> I feel like I just kept repeating myself, but this time I actually wrote a little tiny script so I know what the fuck to talk about and lead my way towards there. Um, this video was kind of short, I'm gonna be real with you, I, but the fact that I only had one topic to talk about, that that's why I can only talk so much about one thing, but just never quit guys, I believe in you and just keep doing you i love y'all and i will see you next time in the next video bye, -bye, -bye. <laughs>